India looks out for its neighbors as China targets them with its debt trap diplomacy. And now India has defused another Chinese bomb in Maldives. And Maldives says, thank you. In what comes as a landmark moment in the bilateral relations of India and Maldives, New Delhi on Thursday announced that it will provide half a billion dollars of funding to the island nation for several infrastructure projects that will change the face of the archipelago. The $500 million financial package consists of a grant of $100 million and a new line of credit of $400 million. The announcement came after a virtual meeting between External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar and Maldives Foreign Minister Abdullah Shahid. The Greater Male Connectivity Project, or the GMCP, is being billed as the largest ever infrastructure project in the country of Maldives. The project will connect the capital city of Maldives, Male, with three other islands via bridges and causeways of a total length of 6.695 kilometers. The Indian readout of the meet reads, once completed, this landmark project will streamline connectivity between the four islands, thereby boosting economic activity, generating employment and promoting holistic urban development in the Malay region. In the meeting, Jashankar also announced the creation of an air bubble with the Maldives to facilitate the movement of people from both sides for employment, tourism and medical emergencies. With these massive investments in the tiny island country, India has killed two birds with one stone in the Indian Ocean region, puncturing China's debt trap diplomacy in the Maldives and cementing bilateral ties with its southern neighbour. New Delhi has sent a stern message to China that it will be looking out for its neighbours and that it will do anything at its disposal to thwart Beijing's debt trap diplomacy. Former President Mohammad Nasheed, who is now President Soli's advisor, was visibly elated by the developments in Maldives and tweeted a heartfelt message to show his gratitude towards India. He also took a slight dig at China, which had been bleeding the country dry with shark loans. Mohammad Nasheed tweeted, The super low cost development assistance announced by Dr. Jay Shankar today is exactly what the Maldives needs. Genuine help from a friend to help us build critical infrastructure rather than eye-wateringly expensive commercial loans that leave the nation mired in debt. India and the Maldives used to enjoy very warm ties before the election of Abdullah Yameen, who came to power in 2013. Since assuming the responsibilities of the state, he had shown a clear leaning towards China and allowed Chinese companies to build infrastructure in the country. His policies included anti-Western rhetoric and he openly supported Islamization of the Maldivian society and as a result, India's relations with the Maldives deteriorated significantly. The following whimsical flow of money during pro-China Yamin's tenure is enough to paint a picture of how bad China had clawed its tentacles deep inside the Maldivian bureaucracy. China had invested a mind-blowing $830 million into the development of the island country's airport. The massively inflated costs of the airport were later added to the bill of the Maldives, which Mohammad Nasheed received in 2018. Yamin had even signed off a highly controversial free trade agreement with China, which practically submerged the country in China's debt. Chinese exports to the Maldives account for more than 99% of the total trade between the two countries and yet Yamin had gone ahead with the free trade deal. In 2018, former President Mohammad Nasheed said that China had handed over an invoice of $3.2 billion, nothing more and nothing less, just a plain receipt of the amount. Recently, owing to Maldives' growing affinity for India, China's Exim Bank had asked the island country to repay $10 million in loans given to former President Yamin's ally, Sun Ahmad Sham. The move was dubbed as extortion and a blackmailing tactic by the political pundits as China is getting agitated that India is systematically challenging its hegemony in the archipelago. According to a Forbes report, when Soli assumed the chair in 2018, the small tropical nation owed such gargantuan amount of debt to Beijing that it roughly amounted to 8 
thousand dollars for every inhabitant of the Maldives. But after Ibu Soli, who is close to former President Mohammed Nasheed, assumed power, the relations between the two countries have become much more robust. The Maldives had been eyeing a way out from the Chinese debt trap, so India, under Prime Minister Modi, as a considerate neighbour, has swooped in and poured in the investments. It was under Soli that the Maldives scrapped the free trade agreement and sent a message to New Delhi that it wanted to go back to the drawing board. The Greater Mali Connectivity Project was a key election promise of the ruling Maldivian Democratic Party. President Ibrahim Mohamed Soli had personally sought India's assistance for this project. The fruition of this deal has become one of the final nails in the coffin for China and its horrendous debt trap diplomacy. India helping the Maldives, which had been at its lowest, has sent a message to the entire Indian subcontinent that New Delhi is willing to help them get out of the menace of Chinese debt trap. All they need to do is to extend the olive branch just the way the Maldives did under Soli.